editable poly, the edit geometry rollout quick slice button. So I'm going to start with just the box with one segment, create a box, standard box. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to convert it to an editable poly. Now I'm going to come down here and just pick on say a border sub element and I'm going to scroll down to quick slice and quick slice is found in my edit geometry rollout. So I'm going to pick on quick slice and I'm going to come down here and I'm going to change to an edge here and I'm going to pick on an edge. And so there's my edge. Now I'm going to come down and I'm going to pick the angle that I want this uh, to be at and I'm going to pick it down to this corner here. I'll pick and now I have quickly slice this object. So if I were to go and do a select and move, now you can see when I pull on this thing, I have sliced it down that part right there. And now I'll just do a little, you can see how I created a slice right here. And that slice then is a quick, easy way to slice something. And then I can edit my geometry, my sub-object level geometry, or my overall geometry with that slice being in place. So that is the Q slice. Um, so I have to have an edible poly. Uh, I need to select the sub-object. And then I can go down and choose my quick slice. And my quick slice then allows me to pick and then pick the rotation of the of the actual slice plane. And then uh, after that, just edit.